Hello students, in the previous three videos, we have discussed about various definitions and concept of chapter electricity. Today, we are going to discuss about factors on which resistance of a conductor depends. In Ohm's law, we have already studied about resistance of a conductor. It is the property of the conductor which opposes the flow of current through it or flow of charge through it. We also got a formula in Ohm's law. V is equal to I R. This R is resistance of a conductor. Okay. Now, what are the factors on which this resistance of a conductor depends? There are three factors. First is length L of a conductor, area of cross section of the conductor and third material of the conductor. Okay. To understand how the resistance of a conductor depends on length, we will take two wires. These two wires are made up of copper, which we are using in electrical transmission lines. So the material of these two wires is same. And their area of cross section is also same, which means they have same thickness. Okay. But the length of these two wires is different. As you can see, the, uh, the length of this wire is longer as compared to this. So the resistance of these two wires will be different. How? Resistance of this wire will be more as compared to resistance of this wire. Why? Because resistance is directly proportional to length. If the length is more, the resistance will be more. And if the length is less, then the resistance will be less. So resistance of a conductor is directly proportional to length of the conductor. For area of cross section, we will consider two wires of same length and same material. Right now, I don't have this kind of wires whose material as well as length is same. So we will consider these two as those wires. We will assume this as wires of same length and also they are made up of same material. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is a thicker wire and this wire is, is thin. Because the area of cross section of this wire is more as compared to this. Okay. Now, their resistance will also be different. How? The resistance of this wire, which is a thick wire, is less as compared to resistance of thin wire. Which means if area of cross section is more, resistance will be less. And if area of cross section is less, resistance will be more. Which means Thicker wire has less resistance than a thin wire. So resistance is inversely proportional to area. Okay, which means if area is more, resistance will be less. If area is less, resistance will be more. This is equation. It is very easy to understand the third factor because if material of the conductor are different, then resistance will be different. Even if length and area of cross section of the conductor are same, but their material is different, then the resistance will be different. As you can see, there are two wires. It is they are of same length and we will assume that their area of cross section is also same. But the resistance will be different because their material is different. 
one is made up of aluminium and other is made up of copper so the material is different therefore the resistance is different for this we will combine this to first and second r is proportional to l by a from first r is directly proportional to l here also r is directly proportional to l from second r is inversely proportional to area of cross section here also r is inversely proportional to area of cross section because a is in the denominator now proportionality sign uh, we will replace it by equal sign by adding a constant which is rho l by a this rho is a constant this is known as rho this is symbolic representation of rho r h o rho is known as resistivity of material of the conductor so this resistivity is actually the third factor which depends on material of the conductor have you understood now this formula is for resistance resistance is equal to rho l by a where rho is resistivity l is length and a is area of cross section so we have learned two formulas for resistance from one from ohm's law r will be equal to v by i and another is r is equal to v uh, rho l by now we will define resistivity as r is equal to rho l by a if the length of the conductor is 1 meter length of the conductor is 1 meter area of cross section of the conductor is 1 meter square area of cross section is 1 meter square then by substituting the value of 1 meter in 1 meter square 1 by 1 is 1 so r will be equal to rho okay or rho will be equal to r only if length is 1 meter a is 1 meter square then only rho is equal to r so resistivity of material of the conductor is numerically equal to resistance of the conductor of unit length and unit area of cross section so this is the definition once again resistivity of material of the conductor is numerically equal to resistance of the conductor of unit length and unit area of cross section unit means one have you understood students i know you will be confused between resistivity and resistance you will think that both are same but actually both are different resistivity is characteristic property of material of the conductor and resistance is property of each conductor to understand this we will take two wires we have used this two wires to explain how resistance of the conductor depends on length you know that resistance of the conductor is directly proportional to length of the conductor which means resistance of this wire is more as compared to this wire because its length is longer as compared to this so resistance of both these wires are different but their resistivity is same because they are made up of same wire which is copper same material which is copper so if wires are made up of same material their resistivity will be same but their resistance can be different if their length and area of cross section are different okay in ncert book table 12.2 you can see resistivity of different conductors alloys and insulators silver has least resistivity 
resistivity of silver is very low. Now, from table 12.2, resistivity of conductors is less than resistivity of alloys. This is important because alloys are made up of conductors, metals. Example, nichrome. Nichrome is made up of nickel, chromium, manganese and iron. So the resistivity of nichrome is more than resistivity, individual resistivity of nickel, chromium, manganese and iron. So all the alloys have greater resistivity than the resistivity of its constituent metals from which they are made up of. This is the reason they are used in electrical heating devices like electrical iron, electrical geyser, electrical heater, etc. etc. This is because they are able to withstand higher temperature and they will not break easily when high current will pass through them and the temperature increases. So they, when the temperature increases, the metals or the conductor will break easily as compared to alloys because alloys have higher resistivity, they can withstand it. Hope all of you have understood all the topics which we have discussed today. Thank you and have a nice day.